Welcome back to Passionate About Tech. Today, I'm sharing the ultimate guide to setting up Windows 11 perfectly. We'll cover it all, creating a bootable USB drive, bypassing Microsoft's pesky requirements, installing a lean system, whether you're a beginner or a seasoned techie. Stick around, and let's get your PC running like a dream. Step 1. Gather your tools. You'll need a working PC to create your bootable USB. It doesn't need to be fancy, just something that can run a browser. You'll also need a USB flash drive with at least 8GB of storage. First, we need the Windows 11 ISO file. Open your favorite web browser, mine's Chrome, but any will do. Type Download Windows 11 ISO into the search bar and hit Enter. Look for the official Microsoft link, usually titled Download Windows 11. Click on it. Scroll down to the section labeled Download Windows 11 Disk Image ISO for X64 devices. Click the Select Download drop-down, choose Windows 11 Multi-Edition ISO, and hit Confirm. Next, select your language. I'll pick English United States, but choose what suits you. Click Confirm. Finally, click the 64-bit download button. This file is about 6 gigabytes. So depending on your internet speed, it might take a few minutes. While it downloads, let's move to the next step. Step 2. Download and set up Rufus. To create our bootable USB, we'll use a fantastic free tool called Rufus. In your browser, search for Rufus Download. The top result should be from Rufus.i. Click that. Scroll down to the download section. I recommend the portable version for simplicity, so click Rufus Portable to download it. Once it's downloaded, and double-click to launch it. If a user account control prompt appears, click Yes. Rufus will ask if it can check for online updates, click Yes, again. Now, plug in your USB drive. Warning! Rufus will erase everything on this drive, so make sure there's nothing important on it. In Rufus, under Device, your USB should appear, mine says 32 GB. Double check, it's the right drive. Under Boot Selection, click Select, navigate to your Downloads folder, choose the Windows 11 ISO you just downloaded, and click Open. Leave the partition scheme as GPT, and the target system as UEFI for modern systems. You can name the USB under Volume Label, I'll call mine Windows 11 Install. Keep the file system as NTFS and ensure quick format is checked. Click Start to begin creating the bootable USB. A window pops up with customization options. To make our setup perfect, check these boxes. Remove requirement for 4GB plus RAM, secure boot, and TPM 2.0 to ensure compatibility with older hardware like my Dell. Also, check Remove requirement for an online Microsoft account to set up a local account instead of signing in with Microsoft. Finally, check Disable Data Collection and Skip Privacy Questions to reduce tracking and skip those annoying setup prompts. Click OK. Rufus will warn that all data on the USB will be destroyed confirm by clicking OK again. Rufus will now format the USB and copy the Windows 11 files, which takes a few minutes. You'll see a progress bar. Once it's done, the bar turns green and it says ready. Click close and safely eject your USB. Step 4. Boot from the USB on your computer. Now, let's install Windows 11 on your computer. Plug your bootable USB into a USB port on the laptop, a port directly on the motherboard, not a hub, for best results. Power on the laptop. As soon as it starts, repeatedly press your system's boot menu key Common keys include F12, F10, or ESC. Refer to your laptop's manual if you're unsure. In the boot menu, use the arrow keys to select your USB drive. It may appear as something like USB storage device or Windows 11 install. Press Enter to proceed. If it boots into an existing Windows installation, restart and try again timing can be tricky. Once it boots from the USB, the Windows 11 setup screen appears. On the first setup screen where it asks for language, time and currency format, change time and currency format 
from your country like English United States to English World. Keep the language and keyboard as English United States, then click Next. Check this box that says, I agree that everything will be deleted. Click Next again. Accept the license terms and click Next. You'll see your drive's partitions. Be careful here this will erase everything on the selected drive. Select each partition on your main drive and click Delete. It is usually the disk zero. And confirm until only unallocated space remains. Select the unallocated space and click Next. Windows will create the necessary partitions and begin installing. This process involves copying files and restarting a few times, don't interrupt it. It'll take several minutes. If you're excited about getting a lean, mean Windows 11 setup, hit that subscribe button to join the passionate about tech community. Let's keep your tech game strong. Step 6. Activate Windows 11 affordably. Before we continue with setup, let's talk about activating Windows 11 to unlock all features and remove that pesky watermark. Check out premiumkeys.com. Go to premiumkeys.com and search for Windows 11 Professional Retail Key. You'll find keys at a great price add one to your cart. Use my discount code TECH9 at checkout for an extra discount. Complete the purchase with secure options like Visa or Crypto and you'll get your key via email or in your account within minutes. Copy it somewhere, Safe will use it soon. Back to the installation. After the restarts, on this screen, you'll be asked to confirm your country or region. Since we're installing Windows with US settings, select United States and click the Yes. On this screen, you'll be asked to confirm your keyboard layout. Click the Yes to continue and skip if you don't need a second keyboard layout. Now, Windows asks you to connect to the internet. Thanks to our Rufus tweak, you'll see I don't have internet in the bottom left click that. Enter a name for your local account, I'll use TechFan. You can set a password or leave it blank for now and click Next. Skip the privacy questions if prompted, our Rufus setting helps here. Windows will finalize your settings and soon you'll see the fresh Windows 11 desktop. Let's activate Windows now. Right click the Start button and select Settings. In Settings, click System on the left, then scroll down to Activation. Click Change, paste or type the key you got from premiumkeys.com and click Next. Windows should activate, removing the watermark and unlocking all features. Finally, let's check for updates. To ensure your system is secure and optimized, check for updates. Go to Settings, click Windows Update and select Check for updates. Let Windows download and install any patches, drivers or updates it may restart a few times. This ensures your computer has the latest drivers for graphics, network and more. And there you have it, tech fans. You've just set up Windows 11 perfectly on your PC using a USB drive. From creating a bootable USB with Rufus, bypassing Microsoft's requirements, installing a lean system, activating affordably with premiumkeys.com, your PC is now fast, clean, and ready to roll. Drop a comment below did this setup save you time, or what tweaks do you add to your Windows install? Thanks for watching, stay passionate about tech, and I'll see you in the next video.